Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Today we are starting this off once again in the holiday district because we are going to be really really nice and we're going to clean up after all the shenanigans from the last video. So I'm going to have to put all these boats back and get the race started up again, all set up again. So that way we can do that in the future if we ever want to. And then I'm going to make sure that the Spleef Arena is all set up and good to go so we can play Spleef again. I'm just gonna take these boats back here quick. All right, the boat, race, the boat race is all set up and ready to go again. So let's have a, head over to the Spleef Arena. Okay, I just got back here and there is a snowman in the Spleef Arena. I am not sure why at all, but he's just getting snow everywhere and now it's gonna take a while to get this set up. Why are you in here? Anyway, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's get this cleaned up then super quick. Okay, perfect. It is all set up now, so we can play Spleef again whenever we want. All right, now that we have cleaned up at the in the holiday district now, it is sadly time to clean up at my palace. You know, when I first started doing this, I didn't really think this through, that I'd have to clean it all up after Christmas, but whatever. Let's just quickly get this cleaned up. All right, and there we have it. Everything is all cleaned up. Gonna miss that little fireplace right there and all the stockings and the carpet. But I did decide to keep the tree here because one, it did take me quite a while to build, so I'm gonna keep it. And two, it adds like a little bit of greenery to this area and I think it makes it a little bit more um, homey or like whatever, kind of like that. I might even try building another custom tree like right over here. I think that would add a quite a bit to this area actually. All right, so now that we have finished taking down all the decorations on the Christmas tree and the fireplace and all of that, we can now get started on our next big project. So for this next project, I'm going to be meeting up with Danny and we're going to start by taking down a mat's worth of a forest. And then we're going to be building an entire PvP arena. And it's going to look a lot like an ancient ruin site. At least that is what we're going to try to go for. But I am really, really excited for this build and I think it's going to turn out really good. So anyway, I'm going to hop into a quick time lapse and then I will explain in further what our plan is to do. As you can see, Danny and I, we are working together to take down all of these trees so that we can have a bunch of room for our PvP arena. So basically our plan is then to dig a giant pit in the middle where we'll have like two circles, an inner circle and an outer circle. And in that inner circle, we'll have our shrine and the outer circle will have all of the terraforming around it. And then we could possibly even have a third, but we have to figure that out. So, as you can see, this is the pit right here. Uh, we spent a couple of hours on it, but right now we're going to put in some grass blocks and then we're going to fill in this with dirt and we're just going to watch it grow. It's going to be like watching paint dry. But yeah, so we're going to have a tower right here in the middle and, and then we're going to terraform all the way around here, make it look super duper pretty. And then we, we kind of want to have it so that there's multiple layers. So there'll be this layer and then this layer and possibly a third layer over here with some towers surrounding this area. And I think it'll be really, really cool in the end. So without further ado, let's get into this time lapse and just make some really good progress on this arena.
have it. It is finally done. And as you can see, I turned on shaders as well just because I think it makes it look so much better. But this has just turned out so pretty. Like, wow, it's just so pretty. It does not look like a PvP arena at all. Like, how is this a PvP arena? <laughs> There's just so much landscaping and everything going on. But man, that dome is also so pretty. And then, um, if you're watching the recording really closely, you could also probably see that over there. Uh, we started working on a river as well. Totally unnecessary, but we did it. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you inside the dome here. So we ended up adding up some lighting up at the top, and I think it is so cool. And then we made this fountain. We actually upgraded the one that we previously had in place here. And then just added some hidden lights underneath this carpet around. And... What we try to do is add a little bit of time, like over time, to this dome. Because basically the, the story behind this area was that it was an ancient, um, ancient site that was taken over by this monument that has been preserved throughout time and later made into a PvP arena. So right here it's basically like cracks in the dome in the floor and I think it is really really neat and then over here uh, is our little waterfall this was like um almost like an entrance ow <laughs> and it's completely unnecessary but it is so cool and I'll show you a little clip going through the going through there with Danny and a little boat ride <laughs> So this river really doesn't have much of a purpose for the PvP arena, other than it just serves as complete aesthetic. But it is so pretty in here. And there's actually a little bit of a story behind this river. So my palace, you know, being up in the sky, it has a waterfall that feeds all the water into that big lake underneath my palace. Which in turn, feeds this river, which happens to go to a bunch of other people's bases. So, in a way, my palace is what feeds these rivers and is the center of all the water in this world. And now this area isn't completely finished because now the next step to do is to finish up around on the walls and building up some towers where people who aren't in the PvP arena at the time can watch. And it'll act as like um, the older walls that have kept this area safe and protected over time. Yeah, I think it'll look really, really cool when we get that finished. But sadly, I don't, we don't have enough time in this video to do that. So I will try to get that done here in my next video. But for now, I have one other place I need to go to. So I am going to be meeting some friends at the Guardian Gauntlet. I'm going to be meeting some friends at the Guardian Gauntlet to see who is going to be challenged. So if you watched my last video where we did our boat race, the winner got the prize of challenging somebody at the Guardian Gauntlet to some sort of challenge. And I'm really nervous to see who's going to get the challenge and what that challenge is going to be. And the thing with Guardian Gauntlet, if you get challenged, you have to wear an Elder Guardian head until you finish the challenge. So let's head over there and see who's going to get challenged. <clears throat> I would like to get off, this is my time to shine. I would like to announce the challenge you. Anna, please step forward. Okay. <laughs> Accept your challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I will gladly do this. <laughs> I need a room it? for each and every single one of them. Each and for the 169 <laughs> Kevins. <laughs> it can be small rooms, but they each need their own room. <laughs> what if I make- wait, wait, wait. On. What if my palace becomes the palace for the Kevins? <laughs> you spent, like, months making this beautiful palace in the sky, <laughs> and then you just dedicate it to dogs. You know what's gonna be re real dog palace. about this? Oh man. And I can't move the dogs without Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make the mansion, then you can move them all in. 
Yeah, I kind of do have some work cut out for me as well. <laughs> Especially considering I've just told her to build a room for every single Kevin. <laughs> yeah, so basically the challenge is to build the Kevin mansion. That yes. is what the challenge Good. says. I am also going to be living in this mansion. <laughs> you gain nothing, I gain everything from this. Oh, man. You know what I thought what the challenge was going to be? You know what my what? prediction was? It was that it would be the McDonald's. Between base base. That's uh, I thought, too. But I'm this is uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, I got a good idea. I got a good idea. <laughs> I thought Anna yeah, would enjoy this Isabella? challenge. I will enjoy Anna, this. Who have been challenged in the Guardian Goblet. It doesn't have to be as extravagant as your Sky Castle. Sky Cops gang. Woo! <laughs> oh. So, as it would seem, I was the one that got challenged to build the Kevin Mansion. So, I am going to now have to plan out a huge, ginormous mansion for 169 dogs plus Dorkula. Whatever I end up building, it's probably going to be absolutely huge. <laughs> and of course, I could uh, be like kind of stingy with it, but that's not how I roll. So, I'm going to go all out and build a pretty cool mansion. Whatever I do. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. We actually did manage to get quite a bit done. So we worked on the PvP arena and terraformed all around it, worked on the shrine, and now all that's left is to work on the walls and the towers all around so that people can watch when we're having competitions and all that. And then we had the Guardian Gauntlet, which I ended up getting challenged, and now I am doomed to wear this Elder Guardian head until I complete this challenge. So I won't be able to take it off until I complete that. So I'm gonna try to get this done as soon as possible because <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. I can't see my face. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.